News first, Chelsea Bynfor, she's live at 5 at a polling site in Old Fourth Ward in Atlanta, tracking the race for Atlanta's, Atlanta's Board of Education. And Chelsea, the people elected today certainly will make significant decisions that could affect many of our kids' chances of heading to college. And probably the most significant will be who they select for the next APS superintendent. We're live at Howard Middle School this afternoon. One of the polling precincts where people have been uh, arriving slowly. There haven't been very long lines, but uh, more people are starting to show up now as it gets close to the end of the workday. There are five Atlanta Board of Education seats on the ballot, districts one, three, and five, and at-large seats seven and nine. However, District 1 incumbent Katie Howard is running unopposed. The new board will oversee 50,000 students, a $1.6 billion budget, and like we said, select a new superintendent, a position that's been uh, a revolving door really in Atlanta over the last couple of years. We spoke with at-large seat incumbent Jessica Johnson, who was appointed to the seat about 10 months ago, and her challenger, Nkoyo Lewis, about some of the issues they would focus on if they win tonight's election. I really believe that every student deserves an opportunity to pursue college and or career. We want to make sure that our students are receiving all of the resources they need. It was my goal to make sure that we have an equitable school system that delivers excellence so that no matter where a child lives, no matter their race, their place or their ability, they get access to an excellent education. We've got about two hours left until polls close, and should a runoff become necessary in this race, that is scheduled for December 5th. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, Chelsea Bime for Atlanta News First. Chelsea, thank you. And you can stay on top of your local elections with our Atlanta News First app just by scanning the QR code. We put it on the screen for you. We have a voter guide online right now broken down by county to help you find your polling locations. Polls do close tonight at 7.